Dorian Swan bring down Pugarini. Should be fourth down here. Gain now. two. Nicely done, ladies, by the way. Nicely done. It'll be fourth down and That's three. Right. The ladies have been the highlight to this game. That's they are four from three. Don't like McDonald's on the front of the Two weeks, seeing domination from St. Francis and McDonough. Two top teams in IA Conference. Two beatings. Yes, they have. I think that's last time we did Loria. When I was Mr. Curley, I don't think Loria had. Lawrence on the touch. They get Gilman this afternoon. I'm your home. Where you going? Hi, Snap. Not a good punt at all. Shank is going to give a bounce right at 29. Lawrence's punt is down at the 28-yard line. Kills take over first and 10. Three left in this one here to John and Havoc Field here at Mount St. John. is in again for Mount St. Joe's. Throw and complete. Reese's pass was tipped and falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Nelson was a tenor receiver. Ten. Ten. Aren't you, you are sometimes in the great flex zone. You can sports how you want it when you need it. WBGR Sports Network Monday nights on Facebook. 10 p.m. Flex Zone with you. Check out the Flex Zone on Facebook. The Flex on one. The Twitter and Instagram also. Flex on one and oh man. Look like there's more out there. Third and ten. Uh, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I mean, but hey, he could have been pairing with a cap in there all, so. That's true. Nice we in that read. Under each video here we do, you'll see links to me, Rogers, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Flex Zones also. Check us out. Get us live anywhere. No, what a, oh no, incomplete. Pass and 10 and four. <laughs> Haley falls incomplete, it'll be fourth and 10. Upcoming events for Mount St. Joe Sports. Well, let's check out these Soccer won today, beating Leonardtown three to two. They're in third place and will be starting MIA playoffs on October 30th at home. Reese, high punt. Reese's punt will be down at the 38. Water Polo has their semifinals on October 27th, followed by the finals on the 28th. Varsity Cross Country has a meet Tuesday at Mount St. Joe. At 4 p.m. against Loyola, it's a dual meet, and it happens to be for the regular season title. And Wednesday, November 1st, the MIA championships are at Oregon Ridge. Volleyball is home on, or sorry, away all week. Wednesday at Gilman, 5:45, and Friday at Calvert Hall, 5:30. Bocarini gets back to the line of scrimmage. Host of Gale is there to stop him. Second down coming up. Next week, football is at Oats Stadium at Patterson's Park in St. Francis on Friday, 7 p.m. Oh my. Tough goal for uh, Gale here. This week and the next, we got St. Francis in the back here. All this is falling, Roger. It'll be a tough one. Uh, very tough. Run, and he breaks loose. Look out now. Procarini is finally pushed out of bounds I by the 30. Thornton Jr. But he's got an Eagles first down at the 28-yard line. 28 there, and he busts loose there. 
felt like busting loose. That's right, he did. Looking like Chuck Brown or Nelly. Johnson Day might be over for the Eagles. Another run. Oh my, cut loose. Robinson. Robinson with a touchdown for the Eagles. Steps out of bounds at the oh, two no. yard line. No, it's at the two. My It'll be first and goal and this ain't for the Eagles. That was number 39, Ethan Robinson. When I see utter destruction on the field, I see this Madonna changes for an all three. Well, will get broken at the round. Not too much on offense. It's not the type of day for Mount St. Joseph's looking for. First and goal at the two. This is definitely a fullback run. And did he get it? I don't think he got it. Robinson on the carry again. Gorman leading the way for the Gales. Ethan Robinson. Second and goal. Gain of one to the one. Second and goal. with the quarterback keeper is into the end zone. Walsh touchdown on Eagles. For an Eagles touchdown. 37 to nothing. As the score keeps continuing to climb in these waning moments of the There's a hush sound here right now. John Perfect Field there, Mount St. Joe's. And there's a couple things to be proud of. One, this cheerleading squad. Two, this band over here. That's true. And also, Point's good. the vendors. Hey, his kick is good. Field. That's right. Class can continue to run. St. Joe's. Eagles 37, Gales 0. A running clock now. I'm going to get this one out. In the bag here from McDonough. Try. Oh, watch it. As you see this video, some of the action will be going on. But great action tonight. College football, Michigan and Penn State. My USC Trojans against Notre Dame. Baseball game seven of the ALCS. Yankees and Astros. NBA, you, you know, you, got, you get the NBA lead pass for free this week. A whole lot of NBA action. From even the world champion Golden State Warriors. A lot, of, a lot of great games. Not about game. it. You, you down with hockey. You can watch a little hockey. You want to do that too? Capitals playing the uh, Panthers tonight in DC. Did you mention the Yankees in uh, Houston? Definitely Astros? did. Definitely did. Game seven. More homecomings. We have Morgan Taylor and Howard down in DC. A lot going on this evening. Should be fun. Some action to watch. Now, if we got a parents tomorrow, we'll be watching the Ravens. Week seven of the NFL season. Swift kick. At the 30. Munoz on the return. Brought down by Robinson at the 37-yard line. First and 10 for the Gales. Mendoza breaks it out in the open field. And he's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Gale. For Gale, touchdown. Ron Mendoza, the senior, said he's going to get some today. And now St. Joe's in the end zone.
good to get yourself a get yourself a touchdown. For morale. It's something you know good for the fans. No doubt. Well, are those are fans happy. That kick is up. That kick, right kick is up and good. Six oh two in the fourth quarter. You score. Eagles thirty seven. Eagles seven. Talking about football. I still get a Titan play or two. I want to see that LA New York matchup. Oh, yes. Looks like there's a fox on the too. Who knows? The Fox is running through everybody on the baseline. I lost two games. I actually, no one game since I've been posting. It's been that kind of season for the Dodgers. We got some boxing on the night too, don't we? The night for you? Yes, we do. Man, look at how much is on. Spit kick. Able to get it. Onside kick is recovered by Dion. Eagles will take over first and ten at the 47 yard line. Quarterbacks in for McDonald. Gordon and Levy lead the way. Christopher Jenner. Lost. Uh, Big match was next week in high school football here in Maryland. Three. And Dundalk. Say second. And Friday. 13. Christopher Mill with a record of six and one. Dundalk running the four. Old Mill and Anna Rumble, 4 8 showdown, Aaron County, both teams 6 and 6. Yeah. Robinson is tripped up. No gain. No gain. Third down. Lyndon and River Hill over here back on the top again in Brown County, 7 0. And also Howard and Alcorn. Howard's 8 0 also. McDonough is back at home next week against Cal Wall. Cal Wall right at a 4 4. Austin and Woodlawn also. Flags down. Flags down. Flags everywhere on the field. Ball start against the Eagles, pushing back five. Fourth and 18. A big matchup next week in Baltimore City. Jamison and Dunbar. We will have control of Baltimore City Division one time. Next Saturday, we'll be at Gibson Hall for Marvel. Matchup for the MTSSA playoff. Right 
Out of bounds at the 46. Swan on the tackle. It's going to be fourth down and 11. Watch your reading on the Mobile will know Saturday. They still have a shot at the Baltimore City Division One title. They don't. Still got a chance to make the MI MPSSAA 4A playoffs. Mr. Harbor is in the spot, but they can make it. Mobile just have to show up and take it from them. Flag down. Delay of game. Delay of game on an offense. Loss of five. Will be a punt anyway. That's what they said on there, but nobody beats the West. Yes, John Wall, Bradley Bill, Otto Porter. Got it done last night. 2-0 for the Detroit West. Pistons. You know, tough game, but they're 2-0. Start the young season. And we'll see where they go from here. That's should they get the uh, Lakers next week. I think they go on the West Coast already. Yeah. This punt. Out of bounds. Punt is out of bounds. At the 35 yard line, they all take over, first and 10. Speaking of that, we should go over there. That next week. When they come here, yeah, no question. Uh, I'd love to see the Lakers. First, down, two, now. Low handless ball. First, down, yeah. Fall over. Two, uh, first, I won't go that far. I want to see this goal last two, night. Apple, Friday night. Just to finish the time. Way to end this one off. Reese with a quarterback sneak. And Reese on the carry is brought down by Christian Brown. Christian Brown said, no, I knew that was coming, and he stopped it. One yard gain. Maybe second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Gallops, 3.30 left in this one. As we wind down. That's what we do. Roll, drop. Pass intended for McDonald. McDonald's Fall, drop it. Third down. Down coming up. I hope the quarterback out there. Usually not like McDonald's, though. Seen out. How are you getting to this right now? 315 left. You want this one to be over? Yes, you do. Got to get ready for the, a, a real big one next week at Ox against St. Francis. Ranked nationally. Did them last week. Frank Phil. Hall in the reception gets out to the 41. I mean, that was Hall. Brought down by Jared Altice. It's going to be third and long. Be third down and four. Actually, third and a long four. Right, fourth two. down and four. Yep, it is fourth down. Gail's all going to go for it. Oh, behind his back to the season point. Pass is incomplete. And Eagles will take over first and ten. Here we go, St. Joe. Here we go. Here we go. And the cheerleaders. Any was left of the crowd here? Definitely excellent. Excellent cheerleaders. A lot of spirit. Lot Blow of your mouth, St. Joe. You know it didn't get it done today. It's going to be tough going to us next week. St. Francis. And you come back home and take on off this fall in the end of the season. The Gales are right now should be slotted right at a tie for third. Can they stay there? Top four teams make the MIA playoffs, Roger. What you think in the play today? Can they stay in that top four? I don't know. Um, got a lot of work to do. Uh, that offensive line. Let's protect that quarterback. The Robinson on the carry. Well, the defense played. The defense played well. It's more so the offense. Rudell and Harris on the stop. Game of one, second and nine. They have to get over for a quarterback. You know, they have to draw some different type of plays. How about a round of applause for our marching man today, ladies and gentlemen? Out of St. Francis last year. Out the season, out the season, give him up 22 points. That's it. Yeah. 
A Saturday game against Spalding, their last home game here of the season. Oh, he said he'd take it away from him, or was he down he already? Stopped right at the last scrimmage. It's going to be third and nine. How about a round of applause for the McDonough Eagles football team today? And a round of applause for our Mount DeSales cheerleaders. Robinson with the carry. Harris there again for the Gales. Gain of about three. It'll be fourth and five. And how about a round of applause for our Mount St. Joseph football team. A reminder, they're back in action on Friday at Oak Stadium, 7 p.m. against St. Francis. Bradley in there for the Gale, bring down Robinson. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sorry. Two other on downs. We got one play to go. And we got a play to go. I'm gonna run it out. That's gonna do it. Your score, Mount St. Joseph seven. You've got it in 37. Drive home safe. Thanks so long to you here. Yes, and you too, Roger Hang. We'll be back next Saturday. Yes, back next Memphis Saturday Memphis. for another great, hopefully great football game. Yes, indeed, no question. We're over homecoming. Fast to ride the trail. The live social nation has been in touch with us all week. So. For Roger Hang, I'm DeMars Diamond. Thanks so long to you. Mount St. Joe's at homecoming. Go down today at home. 37 to 7 in Oakland. McDonough. Eagles. Move up to five, actually, excuse me, six and two. They won the MIA conference. Mount St. Joe's dropped to five and three, two and two, and MIA conference play. Roger Lee Heron, I'm the Mars Diving Station. We'll see you next Saturday at Mervo. So long. So long, guys.